In a world full of toddlers with iPads, preteens on Instagram, and almost everybody else on smartphones, it would be easy to assume that we're currently in the middle of a boredom epidemic. And this may very well be true, but boredom isn't always bad. And the science behind it, quite ironically, is really interesting. Boring is the process of digging a hole through a repetitive and monotonous motion. So it's hardly surprising then that we use the same word to describe the emotion we feel when performing similar tasks. But boredom isn't always a trivial emotion, it's perhaps one of the most fascinating emotions we have. It comes about due to a lack of stimulus. When the external world around us and the internal world of our mind no longer satisfy our brain's need for information. It's an incredible ability that we share with no other creature. We're able to understand the complexities and the majesty of the world around us, and it's still not enough for our brains. The 19th century poet Giacomo Leopardi perhaps summed it up best when he said, Boredom is an expression of a profound despair at not finding anything to satisfy the soul's boundless needs. Boredom serves a very important role in the human psyche, like any other emotion. It propels us to seek out fresh and stimulating material in the same way that hunger and thirst propel us to eat and drink. In fact, our brains are more active when they're bored. This is according to Dr. Mark Minton, a professor of radiology at Washington University. The amount of study that's been put into understanding this curious emotion has increased dramatically since the mid-1980s. But how does one exactly test for boredom? Well, that's where the BPS, or the Boredom Proneness Scale, comes into play. But in order to use this scale, you have to make sure that your participants are bored. So how can you induce boredom? Well, with the world's most boring video. Video stimulation has been used in psychological studies to induce a whole range of emotions, from happiness to anger to empathy and many, many more. So when doing her dissertation on boredom at the University of Waterloo in 2014, Colleen Merrifield logically made a video that would scientifically bore people to tears. And well, this is it. I'll spare you the brunt of it, but this keeps going on. The two men keep hanging up laundry, 10 seconds go by, 20 seconds, a minute, two minutes. I think at one point, one of them asks the other for a peg, and that's about all you missed. But this video goes on for a stupefyingly dull six minutes. And it appears that we'll do almost anything to snap out of this emotional state. Snap out of it, boys. Another study into boredom published in Science in 2014, and one of my personal favorites, found researchers asking individuals to sit alone in a room for 15 minutes. That's it. That was the entire experiment. It sort of reminds me of a certain community episode. If you turn your attention to the monitor, you will see that our subjects are waiting for the experiment to begin, but it's actually happening right now. <gasps> However, in this study, the participants were given an option. A sizable chunk of the participants, mainly men, were more willing to give themselves small electrical shocks than be left alone with their own thoughts. Which brings us back around full circle to what boredom as an emotion accomplishes. It propels us to seek out stimulation, even if that stimulation is shockingly unpleasant. So next time you find yourself in a boring rut, just remember how absolutely fascinating it is that you're even experiencing that emotion in the first place. <laughs>